Today, we're gonna go over six, yes, six bourbons that don't get hyped up, and as a beginner, you don't wanna pass up when you go to the liquor store. I'm excited, let's talk about it, let's, let's go. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Carlos, thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Corner. Truly appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video and checking out the channel. So I'm sitting down a little bit um, because I've noticed that every time I stand up, I cover this and I love this sign, Whiskey Corner sign, right? Whiskey Corner Bourbon Bar, because that's basically what this is. Uh, maybe I gotta put it up a little bit higher and over here so that when I stand up, you guys can actually see it, but I don't know. Right now we're sitting down and you can see it, so that's good. What are we doing today? Well, I decided to do this video, right? Because I'm part of a lot of whiskey societies and whiskey groups here in the, uh, I wanna say mid Florida area, um, mid to South Florida area. Um, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't, like you would be surprised by how many people post up stuff on this like group on the different groups that they want to know like what are other thoughts about it because they want to know if they can buy it or if they should buy it or is it a good bourbon and some of them i'm just like huh i thought everybody knew about that and then i came to the realization that we all started there at some time right just because we're bourbon lovers enthusiasts students whatever you want to call it there are people that are just starting out, right? And they normally just hear about Buffalo Trace, Jack Daniels, uh, Larceny, Maker's Mark, Elijah Craig, 1792. Um, you know, like stuff like this is what they hear about all the time. So sometimes it's, it's weird to stem away from that, right? Just because you don't wanna get got, right? You don't wanna look at a bottle and be like, huh, that looks pretty interesting. And then you get home and it sucks, right? So decided to put this list together um, of some that have come up in my feed. Um, also some that I don't know if, if people are, are thinking about, but you definitely shouldn't pass up. And then also these are all that, or these are all some that you can definitely find on the shelf, at least in my area. In little liquor stores, big box stores, whatever, you can definitely find them. So wanted to put this list together because if you're that beginner that are looking to see what you can stem off from what you normally buy, these are all good ones that you should, should look at, buy, and taste. Now we're gonna do six bourbons, but I do have a surprise and a present, I guess, for you because I'm also gonna talk about one rye. Even though it's not bourbon, I'll throw it in there as a little, surprise present type of thing for all my rye whiskey lovers out there. So before we get into that, let's do a little inaugural cheers. This is definitely one of the ones on here, so cheers. That's good. Wow. I forgot how good that was because I haven't had it in such a long time. Well, Let's just start off with that one, right? And this is probably one of the most expensive ones on here. By the way, all of these are under $100, right? All of these you can find in my area. You might not be able to find it in your area, especially one I know is, is not available in all states. So some states will have to go and buy it online. So it is what it is. But this one that I'm drinking here and the first one we're gonna talk about is Barrel Bourbon, right? They have different batches. This is batch number 33. I don't know what batch we're on right now. Could be 35, could be 36. The good thing about Barrel Bourbon is that they have so many offerings. And they also, uh, by the way, this is gonna cost you like 80, 90-ish around there, but they also have something that's a little uh, less money that's called Stellum Bourbon, which is part of Barrel Bourbon, just, you know, a little bit cheaper for you, um, but it's still good. 
as well. So Barrel Bourbon throws out these different offerings. I love the seagrass that I'm looking at, the vantage that I'm looking at, and I see a New Year's Eve one there. That's pretty good as well. And this 33, everybody was raving about it, I believe, last year or at the beginning of this year, and I just had to get that. And I'm glad I did, because that is a good one. So if you see this on the shelves, which I'm sure it's sold everywhere, pretty sure, you shouldn't pass this up. Another one that is a little pricey, little pricey, I will say, is Penelope bourbon right Penelope bourbon is also another one that makes a lot of different offerings quite honestly all of these make different offerings um, but this toasted one is my favorite one I also really really like the architect one but they have a barrel proof they have a or a barrel strength I think it's what they call it a regular one they have a rose cask which I have yet to try but I would love to get one of those when I see one in my area. But these recently started being sold in my area. Before, you kinda had to buy them online or some liquor stores had them. But now they're even at the big box liquor stores, which, you know, that's how you know it's really getting distributed well here in Florida. But these are great. The only thing is that, yeah, while you might have like the regular one or maybe the barrel strength one be like that 50 60 dollar or 60 70 dollar you'll have these like this one in the architect that could be in the 70 80 dollar range so it is a little bit pricey but please do not pass this up if you see it i love all the ones that i've tasted only one i don't think i've tasted is the rose cask one and they are so good so you won't do wrong going with a penelope bourbon going down in price significantly right because we have this one i believe you can find some of these for like 35 40 bucks if you go with the regular 93 proof one but we have blue no now this is the crossroads i don't know how much this is i think it's like 40 or 50. don't quote me on that but this one's great because i love the toasted french oak finish but if you don't like that, if you don't want to do that, you can definitely go with a juke joint, right? Now, this is a single barrel, so not exactly this one. But if you go with the regular 93, that is still freaking good. And the good thing about the 93 is that if you're a beginner, you know, 93 proof is a good proof to start off with. It's not too low. It's not too high. And the blue notes... They're just good. I was about to say blue point, but the blue notes, they're just really good. I would recommend them. And I think they're an amazing value. Another amazing value and kind of on the lower side of the price spectrum is one, probably the lowest proof one here. So again, if you're a beginner, you definitely want to take a look at this because this is probably my favorite. Actually, it is my favorite 80 proof bourbon probably already know where i'm going tin cup 10 yeah 50 bucks 50 to 60 bucks you cannot go wrong with this and i know i get it it's a little gimmicky you see that you see the box and yeah i mean you see that you see the bottle and it's um should i really try that but definitely tin cup 10 i haven't tasted the regular tin cup but the 10 at 50 dollars it is amazing definitely do not pass that up if you see it in your area this one i'm gonna call a bourbon you guys can call me out throw something on the screen say whatever because it is a bourbon out of tennessee so you might want to say it's a tennessee whiskey it says straight bourbon on it so i'll call it a bourbon chattanooga whiskey yep now this is the bottle of the bond and i have to say chattanooga whiskey is one that i don't really like all of their offerings actually i don't like their regular offerings i don't like the 91 or the 111 but this bottled and bond and some of their other special offerings i freaking love and the good thing about it is that they are at a pretty good price so this bottle and bond is usually around 50 bucks you can get some of their other ones some of their limited releases and you'll pay 50 to like 80 dollars all really freaking good I would suggest you try, but you could also just go with the regular 91 proof or 111 proof, and that is around that $50 range. Well, maybe a little bit less sometimes. So definitely do not pass by Chattanooga whiskey if you're trying to find something else 
to get into. Before we get into the last two, or actually the last one, I don't know how to count, we're gonna get into the rye, right? We're gonna talk about the rye, and that is Sagamore Spirits Rye, yeah. Now this particular one is the Double Oak. This is my favorite from Sagamore Spirits. Only one I don't think I've tasted. Well, I haven't tasted their like experimental batches, um, but out of their regular ones, I haven't tasted the Sherry or the Oloroso, whatever that is. Haven't tasted that one. I keep hearing good things about it, but out of the ones that I've tasted, this Double Oak one is just my favorite this is so freaking good and it's around the 60 dollar range you cannot go wrong with this guys this is so freaking good and it's not one of those rides that you keep hearing about like the jack daniels rye or uh, old forester rye your wild turkey rice this is just freaking good or your whistle pigs hands down i would get this over any whistle pig but i'm not a rye person and i love that rye so Sometimes you can find them, sometimes you cannot, but if you do find this in your area, definitely pick one up. Last one, I think so. Yeah, last one. And this one was surprising to me. I didn't, I thought everybody knew about this, but again, you gotta humble yourself and put yourself in other people's shoes, especially when you were a beginner, right? But this one is definitely one that you might not be able to find everywhere. They just, they just got Florida as a state that they can deliver in and distribute just like a couple of weeks back. Um, but in your area, you might have to look for it online, check out their website, but Smoke Wagon. Now this is the small batch, right? This one will cost you around the $50 range. Um, they have a straight bourbon whiskey that's like 30 to 40 bucks. They have an uncut unfiltered, which is 70 to 80 bucks. They have an uncut the younger, which is 60 to 70 dollars. They have private la labels and <laughs> limited releases and single barrels that are like could be well over a hundred dollars. But just to show you that they have a large offering of stuff that you can buy, and all the ones that I've tasted have been amazing so i would definitely recommend this again if it's not available in your area just go on their website see what they have in stock and you can buy it right there and then but this is such a good bourbon i am a fan i am a true fan of everything that smoke wagon does and i just think that everybody should not pass this up if they see it in the area or even if you don't see it in your area and you haven't tasted one definitely try to order one online. All right, guys, so that is my list. Let me know what are some that you would put on this list. Did I miss anything? Is there any ones that you would switch out? What do you think about, you know, the list that I said here? And what would be on your list? Let me know. Comment below if you wanna recommend some non-standard bourbons and arrive to beginners out there would love to hear back from you love talking back and forth with you guys please subscribe because that will really really help me out please like or dislike this video and again i haven't mentioned it in a while but i will here check out the patreon in the description and i'll put a link here but the description will have a link that you can just click on that will really help me out i truly appreciate each and every one of you I want you to enjoy your whiskey, but I will enjoy the rest of this barrel bourbon. And like I said, I want you to enjoy that whiskey. Cheers.